Yeah. Suck me uh, quick. Just real, real quick. quick. Uh, part part itself. Uh, I found the name of the sample. It's uh, okay. It's Hodges. It's Hodges James and Smith. Can't okay. Be. All right. Dope. That's dope. That's from Man that's, in the Mirror. Dope. Yeah. Yup. Man in the Mirror. Hodges, right. Hodges James and Smith. The name okay. of the song is Can't Be. Can't Be. Okay, because that one was man, that's that one got me. I like that one. <laughs> I've never heard of that person. Yeah, it's dope. Okay. SP, I know you want to chime in. SP. I, I I just wanted to ask because I was listening to your answer. Um you, so you lean more towards um have you delved into like African spirituality? Um that was that kind of the path that that you were led to um yes um I, i'm i'm not I, I i can't sit up here and say that i know all the orishas and and i'm deep into it like that but um but yes i am i do know a little something about it and uh, definitely african principles is definitely something that I'm, I'm leaning towards but i take a little bit from everything you know and i try to create my own thing you know my like own that. philosophy my right. own beliefs um so uh but yeah man I, I definitely study a little bit of that and i take i take a little bit from like the uh, orishas man and 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 um and um yeah man i form my own my own way of life my own religion mm -hmm. you know so more you like a dad with you absolutely 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 i hear that and, yes, and just one more follow-up for free mind i know um you were saying that you had went to prison um you had went to jail or prison and and um how does that experience impact what you do now creatively that's a good question um mm -hmm. i remember when i was when i was down when i was uh doing my time and i used to i used to i used to um i used to write down like certain equipment that i always wanted to get and that's why i was so in love with the npc um because you know at that time i went down in 07 and at that time man kanye west was man he was he was creating some of the the, the best music known to man you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it was like i was i was the old kanye i was i was i was yeah. a real fan <laughs> and i would always listen to yeah. his music and and, and I, that would open up my soul and uh you know just being in there i would always, I always told myself like man I ain't ever coming back to this hell hole. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm gonna get out. And I'm, I'm gonna do something righteous with my life. You know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do the right thing. And I'm, I'm, I'll probably have a son, which I did a, a, exactly a year later. Um, and you know, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna try to make sure I make sure he never come to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because this ain't it. And um, just having that experience shaped me and molded me and turned me into the man that I am today. Um, I, 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 I bear my soul and my music so much. And I, I put my experiences in my music so much. And I just want to make sure that nobody go down the path that I was on because I've seen a whole lot, man. Like, like I'm telling you, man, I, I can write a book on this stuff. Like, man, man I, you should. I seen, yeah. I seen, I, I well, seen my cousin just, just slumped. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> shot in the head. He was, I was 12. He was, he was only 13, about to be 14. Got shot in the head and all that. Like, and, and he's still not right to this day. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so I, I put those experience in the music and I made sure that the, 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 the generation coming behind me never have to experience what I went through. Yeah. I hope that I answers that. your question. I feel that. Yeah. And, and Brandon, I, I read that, um, you were on the verge of giving up at one point. Yeah. And can you tell me about that long walk you took? Um, well, as far as the giving up on uh, music? Yes. Um, yeah, man. Um, actually, this has to do a lot with um, meeting free mind. Because um, actually, well, it's a quick backstory. You know, I, I at 18, I, I dropped out of college and I wanted to do stand up comedy. That's what I was doing. Like, I, and it's still a passion of mine. I still do it to this day. And um, I dropped out. I'm, I'm doing stand up. And um, 
music was a, a, a thing that I buried as a kid and it came back up after I had this long, terrible bomb on stage in Atlanta. It was horrible. I don't want to bring it up, but yeah, I had a long bomb on stage. Yeah, it, was, it was bad. And um, I got into, got into music again, made a couple things, but um, I just, I was looking for a producer and I couldn't find nobody that, that could help me bring out my voice. Like, you know, and and people would just send me beats. They'd be like, "Hey, man, rap on this," and I'd be like, "Man, I want to, I want to build something." <laughs> and Free Mind had hit me up, and like I was just about to quit. And I actually, like, I don't lie, I, I had went, I had unfollowed like three hundred people because I was just like, "Man, I'm starting <laughs> over." So I unfollowed, including this nigga. I unfollowed everybody because I'm like, "Man, he, he gassed me. He, 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 he don't want to work with me for real. Like, he he yeah. gassing me, man. He hyping me." And then, like, finally, like, I think what happened was, man, I just, you know, I had a long conversation with wifey in there, man, and she kind of just, like, sometimes, she, you know, your woman to put you in your place. She was like, man, sometimes you be in your own way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you be in your own way. Like, you know what I mean? Stop being so pessimistic, man. Allow people to love you, man. Allow people to in your life, man. Um, I, I put that to the side and I hit free man up like, bro, you really want to work with me for real? <laughs> nah, he was like, he was like, bro, he's like, yeah, bro, I'm a fan. Yeah. I was like, I was like, all right, man. And yeah. then, you know, so working with free, free mind freed me, man. He helped me get back into it. So I like you know, that. Yeah, I like, I like that. Free mind freed me. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. I'm the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. He, he Morpheus. You see, ball head like <laughs> <laughs> free mind. I have a question, free mind. One of your questions, actually. Um, what do you need to grow? What I need to grow. Um, for me, what I need to grow. Just not even just musically, man. Just. Hmm. What I need to grow, I think I just, just a, just a room to just be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's something that a lot of people don't do. We don't just be, man. It's like we, we're busy bodies. We, we always trying to prove something. We always got our hands in something. We always moving. We never sit still. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and the, the, the kind of personality I have, I need to be left alone at times, you know what I'm saying? So I can recharge and recuperate from the world, man. Because, you know, like, when I got to go out into the world, you know what I mean? Like, I I have to brace myself. I have to take deep breaths and be like, okay, here I go. I got to go out <laughs> and deal with these fuckers. You know, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. You know right. what I mean? Because I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm real introverted, man. I was going like, to say, that sounds like introvert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely that. introverted. Like, I... I like being alone. I like peace and quiet. You know what I'm saying? So for me to grow and to just be able to hone on 20%, for mm -hmm. me to be able to grow and just get to where I need to be within myself, I just need room to just exist, man. No expectations. Don't got to go to work. Don't got to do this. Don't got to be a, a full-time parent like I am. Don't got to get nobody up from school like I do every day. Don't got to make meals like I got to do every night. Don't got to scream and holler at my son or watch his behind because he's 11 years old and don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I just need room to just exist and just be, not even be myself. Like, because I'm gonna always be myself. I just need room to just exist and just have time to just think things through without the everyday hustle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, word up. Be I free. You so, know, to follow that oh, up. How, how do you find that space for yourself? You are a full time father. You you're a producer, so there's a lot of demands on your time. So, how yeah. do you close yourself off and find that space just to exist in the moment? When 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 everything is just quiet, and when and when my son is asleep. When my mom is asleep, I, I stay up, you know what I mean? I'll go out on the patio, you know, and, and just relax, like, just because where I live at, like, I can I can see, I, I live, I'm on the third floor, so, and, and how, where I'm at now, I can see, I can see the whole entire city, I can see downtown LA, I can see the west side, I can see the east side, I can see everything, so I go in, I, can, I just soak all that in and just, you know what I mean? Just sit there in total silence. Like, I don't play no music. I don't do nothing. I just sit there and just reflect. 
Take you know what I'm saying? Breaths. Like, that's absolutely. Like, that's that, that that's like my moment of meditation. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel you on that. I got two kids too, so trust me when I tell you. I'm like, give me a moment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You, you know, gotta have the world on. You got so much going on, and you yeah. you're trying to like you know, keep your mind open, be creative, you know what I'm saying? Stay on top of your game, you know, um, try to, you know, like you said, you're, you're just trying to experience new things every day. And I, it, it could get overwhelming sometimes. And you just need that moment Absolutely. to just reflect, just to get, gather your thoughts together and then recharge. So you can, you know, be good for everybody else. Some people don't realize that that recharging that you're doing is for everybody. <laughs> You know, right. it's, it's yeah, really absolutely. that you can just be ready for everybody because if you yeah, can't mm -hmm. recharge yourself, you're not going to be able to, you know, get the messages and the things that you want out there. So, right. you know, I totally, I, I understand you. Indeed. Makes sense. And Brandon. Brandon, when you're, when you're sitting in um, those times of quietness, mm -hmm. What do you reflect on? What do you, where do you see yourself and your music in this world at this moment? Um, well, the first question when I'm in, uh, when I'm meditating, that's, I'm not looking to gain anything in those moments. Like that, that's to me, that's like freedom. So I'm just, I'm just trying to just be, you know, I'm just trying to just, whatever, let everything go, let thoughts come and go, let everything come and go. If it's something that comes, sometimes it'll be like a dope rhyme or a dope thought. I'm like, all right, I can't, I got to write this down. And then, I, then I'll go back, you know, but um, for the most part, I just, I just sit in that. And um, it's usually by the beach. I get up in the morning, I get up every morning at about 5.30, 6 o'clock. I just go sit by the beach and just watch the water. I live here, I live by, uh, I live in Norfolk, Virginia. So I'm close to the beach over here. I just love to just watch that water. Um, but the second question, my music in this world right now, um, far as far as the communities and the, and the people that have heard it, um, I see it as uh, being, I guess, effective. Um, I don't, I don't see it as something like you know maybe people can't dance to in the club. You know, it, it ain't that. But um, I think it. Uh, I don't know, man. It, 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 it creates, it creates, it, I think it opens up doors for conversation um, yeah. where people can discuss things among each other um, they wouldn't normally share. So like, hey man, this guy's being vulnerable. Um, how about me and you be vulnerable? Like, you know how I share a man in the mirror. Like I, when I can't go to sleep, I run the pornography. Like, you know what I mean? That's real talk. Like, you know what I mean? Like I can't go to sleep. Let me go see what these lesbians talking about. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Word. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, but, but yeah, man, like. Uh, keep so, it real. Yeah, yeah, real talk, man. So, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's, uh, yeah, man, I think it just opens up the door for conversation, man. And especially for, not trying to put us in a box, but um, black males, man, sometimes like, you know, like you said at the beginning of the interview, like, you know, it's like, oh, I got to be tough. Yo, I'm that nigga. And I get sick. Oh, I swear. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, man, like, you know, who are you? Like, what goes on <laughs> in your interior life? Like, who are you? So um, I think um, I think it, I think it just opens up the conversation, man, for more people like us to have more uh, conversations about our internal world and our interior life and our internal battles, which I think is so important for us to even change the exterior. We have to change mm -hmm. that inner world first. So yeah. that's that. And one last question. Mm -hmm. um, Soliloquy was my favorite song on the album. Okay. And it was more so because I felt that it was it, it showed me who you were mm -hmm. as a human being forget artist um forget rapper it showed me who you were as a human being as a black man in this world it i appreciated it so much i appreciate how that. hard was that song for you to make and put that much of yourself into it um 
Uh, well, free. I found the sample. I sent it to Free Mind, and he said, "Bro, I'm about to make you cry." And like, <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Bro, wait till I send this beat. I'm gonna make you cry." And he sent me the beat, and I cried. Shit, like I was, I was crying. Like, and um, it after that, it kind of just flowed, man. Like, I got, I just um. It just made me just reflect on my life and just everything I had been up, been going through, man, up until this point. And he he named it Soliloquy. So like you know, it was it was a time for me to give a speech on my interior world and everything that I had been going through. And I and I was able to just kind of like just just go and let it all out. Um, so that song uh, kind of just flowed, man. Like I like I was like I said, I cried a lot. I was thinking about. You know, just some of the things I've been to working with kids in the classroom and trying to trying to help them heal while still trying to work on my dreams. Um, you know, girls I've dated in the relationships didn't go right. Um, it was just a lot, you know, so I just I just let it all out there, man. It was just it was pretty easy once we told me what the concept was. And like I said, I, I was in tears on that. So I was just writing, just crying. man. so, uh, yeah, man, that was that was pretty. It just it just flowed if that answers the question, you know. So, so I don't have any more questions for you guys, man. You guys said so much. I mean, you know, not to sound corny, but you guys really do make a powerful impact, you know, like, <laughs> you know, you know and um, just, you know, just really seeing how you guys came together to make this all happen, seeing, you know, two guys from two different places meeting each other online, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it takes a lot to make a friend in this time and age. And that's a blessing, you know? Yeah, so yeah. it was meant to happen. You guys were meant to meet and put this together and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And I really do appreciate, appreciate the hard work that you put into this. I mean, you, you know, you got a lot of artists that come on and they're like, oh man, you know, listen to my music. Oh, you ever, like you said, it's so easy to put your own music out nowadays, you know? Yeah. But putting out real good music nowadays, man, that's, that's not something you find too often. You guys did that, Absolutely. you know, and Thank you. keeping the boom bap um, a culture alive is really, really, really like personal to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up with all the same music that you guys were talking about. And boom bap was the one that just stuck out, you know, for mm -hmm. me. It was that kind of music that I could listen to, I could vibe to, I could clean my house to, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I could just drive to, I could smoke to. I mean, it's just, it's it's feel good music and to now see and i really was worried that this was going to be a dying genre and like it's I, i'm loving the fact that you know the artists is like you are coming together to keep that culture alive because conscious rapping is so important i think it's all part of this collective that we're in it's all part of this growth that we're doing just as a world you know what i mean and being able to open up your mind and have a free mind you know, saying it, it influences other people who might have been um, a little bit, you know, um, you know, had a smaller mindset or maybe just didn't have the ability to see outside the box, you know, saying or realize that there's so much more out there. And you guys are doing that, you know, and being vulnerable. That's another thing for me. You know, like we said, there's not a lot of music that is always showing the hard side, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, that. You know, you want to put hard music in the morning because you want to get pumped up like, yeah, I'm about to kill some shit today, you know? Mm -hmm. But sometimes you need that music that's like, wait a minute, let me reflect. Why am I like this? Right. <laughs> right. I could ha I could I can still go out there and inspire people, but without the aggressiveness and and the violence. And you guys are doing that. And I, I salute you guys for that. Just wanted to say that. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. We salute you, Queen Goddess. <laughs> I got a, maybe three and then I'm done after that, but I just have three okay. questions. One I want, and I think this is important. Let me ask you. I'm sure you have one now. <laughs> I'm just but uh, what do each of you want your legacy to be when it's all said and done? I mean, what do you want people to remember you as when it's all said and done? Let me go first. Go ahead, B. You okay. could go first, B, and then free mine after that, if that works. Okay. Uh, legacy. Um uh book uh highly effective people seven habits of highly effective people we talk about mm -hmm. um when you want to be remembered as uh when, when your funeral comes what what do you want people to say and and i want people to be i want to be remembered as a good human you know um, right, no. that they treated people fairly um I, 
I took care of my siblings. Uh, I looked after my parents. Um, I was a good friend. I kept my kept my word and uh, stuff like that, man. That, that that's that's why I want my legacy to be, man. I just want to be remembered as a as a good friend and a good person to talk to. Dope. Yeah. For, for me, what I want my legacy to be, I want people to say that he, he did the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's what I strive for. That's all I want. Like I'm telling you, man. When I was when I was young, man, I was I was a fuck up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like man, I I was gang banging. You know what I'm saying? Slinging, hustling. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I I, I brought I brought a lot of pain to my parents, man. Like, I, mm-hmm. I I I got shot when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, putting myself in fucked up situations, man. Ditching school, trying to hustle, trying to gang bang, and all that. Like, man, and I told myself, man, I I gotta do this shit right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like that's my. That's my whole thing, man, just to make sure I, I did something right for my life. You know what I'm saying? I did something righteous, something that my parents could be proud of, whether they still here or whether my mother is still here, my father is not, whether they're still here, my children still here or not, or even in the afterlife. I just want them to be like, man, I'm proud of you. You, you did something right. You, you finally got it together. So Word. that's where I'm at with it right now. Word. All right. Nip. Nip. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't find the mute. All right, button. that's All right. okay. I, I'm sorry, I'm keeping y'all, but I do have because I think this album is so inspirational and motivational. I want to hope that the the um the uh, mission of the of this show here is to like have ripple effects mm-hmm. and to influence people even when the lights are mm-hmm. off and the show is over. Just like I, I hope your music is like that, right? So I just want to give like people a little more to hold on to. Number, this is the question for you guys. What's it like coming into the music industry d- these days with so many artists coming out every week, every month, and the competition looking steep, and attention spans are so short? What is it like stepping into that arena? Shout out to Gangstar, stepping in the arena. Well, um, I, I think I can answer that question. Um, but I... I, I I have a little more experience dealing with this underground scene than Brandon. Uh, so I, I know what it's like, you know, it's like coming in, man. It's like, you gotta, it is a lot of competition, man. And, and it's like, kind of like you, you, you scrapping over crumbs, you know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to get people's attention. And so, um, when you come in, man, you got to come in swinging, you know what I'm saying? You got to come in, like putting your, putting your, putting your all out there, man, and giving it your all and, and, and making great music. That's number one. Like people always say, you know, you want to study the business and you want to do, yeah, all that's fine and dandy. But if you ain't got no good music, man, ain't nobody going to rock with you to begin with. Like who cares about your True. business ethic? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Who cares that you have a hustling mentality? Nobody don't give a damn about that. If your music ain't good, bro, we, we don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? I, I think but, that's the stuff that, that, mm-hmm. that makes people gravitate to you. Like you, you got to have a good product first and foremost, like even like, with Griselda, like Griselda's own right now, you know what I'm saying? But like yeah. people actually like their music though. Like mm-hmm. they're 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 doing all kind of other things. They're selling merch and you know what I'm saying they they selling you a lifestyle. They doing all that. Number one, the music is good. Mm-hmm. So like coming into this this music scene, because I wouldn't even say industry because I'm not even a part of the industry. I don't even know what that is. I'm a part of the underground scene though, and right. um. You you have to have good music first and foremost. So if you're gonna do this, make sure the music is good. If your music is trash, go back to the drawing board. Mm, word up. Yeah. Dope. So what about you, Brandon? What's some advice or blueprint you would give to an up and coming artist slash MC? Um be yourself. Um be yourself and uh <laughs> do 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 it not to gain anything and just just do it just do it man if you you have to ask yourself man it's like are you are you trying to are you trying to be are you trying to be a rock star well then okay if you're trying to be a rock star then go ahead and make some mumble rap and go ahead man and, and get you some money and, and get you some endorsements while you're at it you know what i mean matter of fact go ahead and, and do it and and, and and dance naked in a, in a video and, and twerk and be naked in the video do, <laughs> do, 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 do some of that stuff go, yeah. go for it that's what you, that's what you want like you know what i mean go go yeah. do that but if you want to be a master at your craft and you want to mm-hmm. be like 
you want to be a great writer and you want to be a great performer, when I, I would just say, you know, put it, put it, like Supreme Mind tell me all the time, ain't no secret, ain't no manifestation. It's hard work. And this is yeah, that is. simple. Like, you know it what is. I mean? You, you work, you work on the craft and then that, that, that's my advice. You got to put in that work. You got to put in, you got to put in the time if you want to be really it, good at what you do. And, and I feel it, like that's, that's going to sell, you know, period. Question for each of you. I'm doing an SP run. Question for each of you. Who would be a dream collaboration? Can be producer or artist, each of you. Uh, I, both. I think. I think both of our answers might be the same. I, I think. I think I know what he's going to say. It's two names that I would throw out there for him, but I'll let him answer that. But for me, it would be Nas, without a doubt. Either, mm-hmm. either, either Nas or Raekwon and Ghostface or Common. That's it. Oh, no Common, no doubt. I would love to do a feature with Common. I would yeah. love to. I would love to do. A, I would love to do some work with Common. Uh, yeah. Nas. Uh, oh yeah. No on, doubt. On, on, the, on the producer tip, of course, like Apollo Brown, the Night Wonders. Yeah. Um, I would love to do that. But um, yeah, man. Um, I, I wanna. I don't know, man. I, like I said, I want to collaborate with a rock band, man. That's what I want to do, man. So uh, yeah, that that that's that's what I want to do next. That's my dream collaboration. Did you get? everything you wanted out of your music career so far and is it everything you expected and more or is it less like disappointments surprises setbacks etc because everybody has a dream like your song Mm. says and then when you start to actually that that dream becomes odyssey has the tangible dream sometimes you're like man this dream could turn into a nightmare this dream isn't quite as filling or content i just kind of want to know from where you are in your Mm. standpoint right now how do you feel? How does the satisfaction feel or content? Um, I don't know if that was for both of us, if we're just for Brandon, but I would love both, to answer that both, question. Both, and both, both. Go ahead, go ahead. I, 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 I want to answer now because my phone is on six percent. It's gonna die on y'all. Oh yeah, you so you said it was three percent a while ago. So yeah, yeah so I, yeah. I'll answer that. Right. Uh, I think it's on five percent. Okay. All right, let's so, go. Let's- so, so for me. <laughs> I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to do because all I wanted to do was just be heard. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro, I have, I literally have people all around the world that listen to my music. People tap in from literally all over the globe, man. Like, and for me, I feel like shit, I did it. Like, I ain't trying to get no money. Like, I didn't, I didn't work with some of the artists that I want to work with, but I, I definitely worked with a lot of artists that I did want to work with. But I'm, I'm still trying to get certain artists to hop on my beats but it don't matter if they do or not i i i, I got what i wanted like I, my whole thing was to just be heard you know what you i'm saying it. they will right. in time man you oh, got right. like you said yeah you got you got one right now on it so yeah <laughs> word is Absolutely. born on that that's, yeah that's all i wanted like i i just wanted to be heard and i just wanted to, i just wanted to hear somebody rap on my beats man i didn't had i didn't have so many people rap on my beats and pay for beats you know what i'm saying so it's like i'm good i got what i wanted you know that's good. No doubt. Yeah, word up, word up. And uh, uh, me, uh, yeah, man, I, I pretty much got what I wanted, man, from music, man. I um, like I, I I'm at the point now where if Free Mind ain't on the hip hop tip, if Free Mind ain't sending me beats, I'm not, I'm not rapping for nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where I'm at with it. Um, I had uh, my my uh, my best friend uh was uh, was murdered when I was like 23. And um, he, I promised him I would make a project for him. And I kept telling him, no, I don't rap. But we would just fuck around and, and freestyle and cypher. But um, once he passed, I felt like I owed that to him to make him a few projects. So now that that's done, I, I let that off. I'm, I'm good now. So it's anything from here on out is, is a bonus for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So the plus yeah. degree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, you got any more questions? Um, I, I, I don't, I don't. All, all I want to say is, man, keep doing what you're doing though. You know what I'm saying? Because it's inspiring to me and I know to a lot of other people, but you definitely, it definitely feels like I'm, I'm having, I'm not having a conversation, but I'm just listening to someone be open and it's not a lot of music like that. Like I remember the other day I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm tired of my, so- the same old playlist. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to listen to music that's you know, gonna make me vibrate like on some low frequency. Like I need something yeah. to 
you know what I'm saying, it helped me kind of like vibrate a little higher and, and, and be a little bit more, you know, mm -hmm. in tune with, you know, other things in life. And right. your right. music was that, you know, that, that, that glass of water that I needed to have a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Fresh I glass appreciate of water, that. You know, and so yeah, I, appreciate I appreciate that. you guys. So just keep doing your thing. Thank you so Thank much. You. And we just want you to go ahead and share your social media as well as where your music can be found because, you know, you got a great album. We want people to go ahead and buy that album. We want people to get more connected to North Star. So go ahead and share that with us before we go ahead and end tonight. Go, go ahead, Brandon. Yeah. Um, uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, mm -hmm. uh, Brandon C. Isaac. So my name, B-R-A-N-D-O-N, the letter C, and then Isaac, I-S-A-A-C um and the music is on all platforms uh just type in brandon isaac and free mind and you can find right. that on uh everywhere youtube apple music Bandcamp. um yeah there it is all right um i'm on i'm on i'm on your instagram as far as social media uh you can find me on instagram at free or is it free mind or free underscore mind underscore beach yeah free underscore mind underscore beach free mind beach I'm I'm on I'm on Instagram and I'm on SoundCloud. I'm Free Mind on SoundCloud. I'm on YouTube. Um, free Mind on YouTube. Okay. Um, and I got my Bandcamp, of course. Free Mind at Bandcamp. Just type me in. You you'll find me. And that's pretty much it. All right, dope. All right. Well, we thank you for being here tonight. Is there any last words that need to be said? Because I really appreciate you taking out time to take us through your journey to talk about the music. And again, we just want to encourage the audience. You need to go ahead and buy this album. I think it's one of the best albums of 2021 and even going in 2022. We're going to stretch it out even longer than that That's because right. they put that work in. They put that work in. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Again, I think I think my the, my partners that joined with me tonight, Nev, for being for joining us tonight, SP, the goddess and so wreck. And more importantly, we ask that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And we want you to continue to stay connected to us because one thing about us, powerful impact is more than just music. It's a way of life. Yeah. And Nev, I want you to say your famous words. You always say you got to leave us out on that one. Oh, wait, the question or what? The word you always say. Boom. There we, all, there we go. There Boom. We go. Goddess, we all about goddess. do you want to um, shout out your platforms or whatever, Goddess? You, um, you can find me on, God, on Instagram, Goddess Zabby, just how you see it, G-O-D-D-E-S-S-Z-A-B-Y. Mm -hmm. um, you'll find me there, and then, then I got like a link tree, and then you can link to all the other different things I do. SP, okay. you want to say something? I saw SP on mute. You saying something, SP? Peace. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm asking one last. No, you know me always with the last one. Free yeah, mind. Know. Don't we die know. out. This is a very important question, personal to y'all. BDP or BDK? Boogie Down Productions or Big Daddy Kane? Who's doing it in the verses? BDP for y'all? BDP for y'all? over. Oh, bridge is over. Oh, no, I, I got to give it to yeah. Kane. I think Kane going to do it. Nope. I got to give it to no. him. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying oh, BDP. Man. I'm going from Brooklyn, and he said I'm going, BDP. I'm going against the grain. I'm saying Kane. I got to go with oh, Kane. Juice crew all day, baby. Brooklyn? Juice crew. Yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, I'm looking down for that's conscious. I mean, if, if, you, if, you're talking about, if, you, if you're talking about BDP and Juice crew, I'll probably I'll probably choose Juice crew. Just yeah, I got I, you. I, 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 love, I, I love QB. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. as far as just QB, like individually, yeah. ain't nobody seeing the teacher. Nah, yeah. he ain't amen. He, he, yeah, he, he the teacher. He, he, the teacher. he the teacher. Amen. That's, that's true. Word God, word. Oh wait, sorry, Brandon. Who you say? BDP? You said wa da da dang. Wa da 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 dang. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nah, Goddess, yeah. where you at, Goddess? We gotta catch you on record. BDP. Oh, oh shit. Man. I'm SP. outnumbered. SP, save SP, me. What you, SP, no, you SP, gotta say SP's it. SP's with you. She's with you. Oh, you with me, SP? Yeah, she gonna taste the chocolate and all of that. <laughs> well, I don't know about that part. I don't yeah, know about that taste the chocolate, but yeah, she <laughs> all on that. Here's what I know. Here's what I know. I'm talking about that 80s cane now. I'm just talking about that. <laughs> no, 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 that no, taste she of chocolate darkness <laughs> and uh, whatever. <laughs> no, I ain't on that. I'm on the 80s cane, that raw. You know what I mean? You know, that's what I'm on. 
Word. Which one, SP? Say it now. This is the second or third time you're saying it, so I want to get it on record. Well, I, I always say it. I'm always going to be for Big Daddy K. Uh, and, um, I mean, most, because most of the sisters I know go with Big a Big Daddy, Daddy K that wasn't just the ladies' man. I know the Big Daddy came before he was the ladies' man. I remember the site, the the battle rap Big Daddy came. I remember that Big Daddy came. I, I I saw that, so I know that what y'all seen, what y'all seen of Big Daddy came, is different from what I see. So, hey, everybody, and I also know that there comes a point in time if you bully him or or aggressively attack him the audience is going to turn mm. because he is big daddy kane is one of those artists that is beloved Oh, I think we lost. We lost. Yeah, I think we lost. Yeah, last his phone died. Yeah. <laughs> but we we appreciate him enduring with us through through the whole interview and sticking around. Yeah. And so again, we thank you again, uh, North Star, for being here tonight. And like we both said, well, we we're outnumbered SP, so they're saying BDP, and we're saying well, Kane, everybody but we'll find is, out. but you know, I always go for the underdog. Me too. So <laughs> I'm I'm rooting yeah. for the underdog. So we'll see what it is. But we want to ask you, as far as the audience, stay tuned again. Subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of dope interviews like this one coming up, and we got a lot of op we have a lot of opportunities for you to get involved. So whenever you see anything on Twitter where we say ask your questions, feel free to do so because we're all about making that impact. And once again, Nev, go ahead and take us home with your signature word that you always like to say whenever we be in our combo. Boom! There we go. Powerful there we go. impact. Boom! From the cannon. All right, everybody we have a wonderful... We did not get to ask the, the, the monumental okay. question. I know. But <laughs> Who now? are the three influential and most important people in your life? Professionally, oh. personally... We asked yeah. questions, I no, think. you asked about a music one, Goddess, which was cool. You did the remix, oh, 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 but that is our trademark, oh, and we man. didn't do that. Brandon, oh, yeah. since you're here, you got to take us out. You're the voice of the people. Oh, three, three, th three most influential people in my life mm -hmm. professionally and personally, and then miscellaneous living don't matter. Uh, all of the above. Um, number one would be my mother. Okay. Um, of course, uh, my mom fried chicken for years and went to school full time to make a way for me. Uh, I wouldn't be where I'm at without my mom. My mom's my mom's is the truth. Um, uh, not living. Uh, my great grandmother, uh, Lillian. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned her throughout the project a little bit. Um, she 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 put love into me, and uh, and then of course, um, last but not least, my father. Uh, okay. My father uh, is uh, is 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 the wisest man I know, man. Like I, he he's always putting wisdom in me, and um, I wouldn't be nowhere without pops. If I had more, I could say more, but those are those are my three. All right, yeah, it's dope. You said we licked the plate while watching Martin. Yeah, yeah, Boom. yeah, I, yeah. I'm speaking. Yeah, buddy. So thank you so much, man. And I finally got a chance to listen to the bonus track tonight because the first time that I've been in my car in like weeks and months, and I oh, finally word, heard the oh, last word. track in the physical CD. Oh man, please tell me the title because I do not remember the title. That joint uh, is fire, though. I, honestly speaking, honestly speaking. Yes, that joint is fire. Yeah, appreciate Yo, it. Fire. Man. Yeah, man. Yo, everybody out there, they already shouted out, but the physical copies. I don't know what the limited edition or they sold out, but the physical yeah. copies are there. You can get them signed, and you can even get his first project. Yo, what's it called? Um, I got you say Helen. Yeah. Yes, check that mm -hmm. all out at Bandcamp. I'm sorry I'm pushing it, but I want these guys. M me personally, man, I love this music, and it had an impact on me. And this is definitely. I'm not gonna go on the record and go too far, but I'm gonna say it's contender for album of the year. I want to say it's album of the year. But I got to be careful because we're in October. But I know it's in the top three, if not top five for me. No doubt. And, I'm, and, I, no and doubt. when I put my name on it, I'm stamping that for the crown, for the mic, for the boom. 
It's up there. All right. That's all I'm gonna say. Word, Rest, word. I'm laying in peace. Love Brandon. Love, Love you, to the po- powerful impact crew. Got it. Right. Did it. Boom. So yeah. right. Yeah. Did it. Right SP up. did it. Much Boom. Love, y'all. Peace. Peace. Appreciate your time. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. I'm highly grateful, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. we greatly appreciate you being here with us tonight. Word up. Word up. Peace, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.